Hey, what's happening everyone? MacBoy here from MacBoy Productions and today I'm going to bring you another Photoshop tutorial showing you how to get rid of objects in the foreground, the background, and essentially anything you want to get rid of in the image. But this is a little more advanced than just painting over that object or just what that one spot. Most of the time, the objects you want to get rid of in the image are blended in with the background. Something like the planets over here or these jets, you can't just paint over them, you can't just grab the brush tool by hitting the B key and then brushing over there. I mean, that leaves a huge spot and the user or the viewer can easily spot it. I mean, no one wants that, but still, how can you get rid of these planets or these objects in the foreground without making a noticeable change? The most frequently used tool in this situation is called the clone stamp tool, and you can access it by hitting the S key on your keyboard, which is going into your toolbox and clicking this icon. Let me zoom in to demonstrate this for you. All right, I'm just gonna go to this planet around here. What this tool does is it grabs the image, the content around the image or the spot you want to get rid of. So for example, if you want to get rid of these planets, but keep this shining light coming through from this light source over here, instead of having a black spot here, it will actually just take the contents from this area and add it to the spot. Let me demonstrate. What you're going to do is you can hit the option key on your keyboard and this will select a target for you to clone. So let's select a target say around here or here, a little farther away from the planet and you can increase the brush size or decrease it and you can also change the brush type so if you go here you can you know have a little um, opacity or flow to it so it doesn't look like exactly a circle so anyway once again once you've had once you've grabbed or selected your target over here you can go over here and draw over the planet if you zoom out you can clearly see that the planets are gone, but the image is still not complete. Let's go back and edit this. Let's grab another area, say about this uh, darker greenish area, and draw over that. Make it look nice. Okay. Like that, like that. You know, brush around a little bit. Zoom out, and there you have it. It's very, very unnoticeable that you just got rid of a couple of planets from the image, but you still kept those gamma rays flowing in. You can do the same with the planet over here, this little small planet hovering above this one. Of course, once again, grab an area around it and uh, let's actually change our brush to what we had before. Grab an area like that, sorry, like that. You have the purple still happening and uh, just draw and there you have it. Now grab some area from here and keep on drawing. Now that you've gotten rid of the planet, all you have to do is add the light shining from behind the planet. So let's go ahead and grab these yellow rays and just bring that over to here. Same thing until here and one more time. And then to blend it in, just take that orange one. Maybe you want to shrink that down a little bit. Grab this and then put that right there. Zoom out and there you have it. The planets are gone and it is very, very highly unnoticeable. Let me recommend this tool to you personally. The clone stamp technique is the best technique and the easiest technique you can use for eliminating objects in the foreground. Hope you learned something from this tutorial. Thanks a lot for watching. Please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe on these videos and channel. And guys, over there to the right, you will find my Twitter, my blog, and my business email where you can contact me for any questions, concerns, comments, or suggestions. Once again, thank you very much for watching and I'll see every single one of you next time right here on Mac Boy Productions.